Hey you guys. So I was like looking at this post that Facebook made me automatically which showed me my year and just looking at it makes me feel like this year has been so amazing because I've been in Italy, I was in Budapest, in a different Hungarian city, London, Miami, Santiago, Chile and that's not the reality. Well, I realized that I never posted anything about my problems this year. I never shared my struggles, my pain, or, or anything that was bad. And if you think about that, that's kind of normal, because that's what we all do on social media. Like, we just share the best moments. <laughs> but that's not who I am. It's just a picture I'm showing you guys, which is not reflecting the reality. There is 24 hours in a day, and most of the time I'm struggling with lots of stuffs and problems, and was going through breakups and heartbreaks and like money issues and pfft, everything. <laughs> and you just don't know that because I never ever shared it. So I was like, let's just fucking share it before midnight. Now it's like 11 p.m. in Chile. I'm in Chile, yeah. Um, and I just felt like being honest with you right here, right now. My year was a piece of shit. <laughs> it was... So many things were happening, so many bad things, but not just bad things, obviously. But I never really talked about that. I always told people that, oh, I'm okay, I'm doing great, I'm going to Chile, I'm managing my company, I'm doing this project and that project, and I'm dating this guy and that guy, and it's so amazing, I'm... <laughs> it's not... <laughs> It's not what it really was. First of all, I lost two of my best friends at the beginning of the year, which was like both an 11 years old relationship. And I just lost them because, well, probably because of me changing or I don't know. They were require more um, attention from me and I, I I didn't give them. I, I was struggling with my company as well. I was doing really great at the beginning of the year and then it just like went down, down, down. And um, I just faced how being a real entrepreneur really is. It's really scary and you just don't know what's gonna happen in two months because you don't have a fixed job. And you cannot really count if you're gonna live in three months or not. Obviously, you're gonna have more projects during those months, but you just don't know in, at the moment, right? So it's really scary. And it's still really scary, but now I, I'm kind of learning how to handle it. Um, and the other thing is, I've been in an open relationship for like six years, and I, I ended that. So my love life is like fucking crazy. <laughs> It's like, God, why am I so sensitive with guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm gay, but like, who cares? I, I, it's not about that. This video is not about me being gay. And oh, yeah, I'm coming out because what I, um, I believe that being gay is not, not good and not bad. It's just. Like, I have brown hairs and green eyes, and that's it. Period. <laughs> so, I had this opportunity to come to Chile in August for the boot camp, which is a course for entrepreneurs here in Chile. It was for eight weeks, and I really wanted to do that, and I managed to come here in October. So I came here, and I'm still here. I, I, not right now I'm supposed to be in New York and then going back to Hungary in January, but I changed everything because of 
what happens. So the thing is that I was falling in love with another guy in April, which is stupid and you can judge me. Um, but I, I don't know, it just happened. He, he was a Hungarian guy and he showed me how to live your life regardless of your environment. Because during the last couple of years, I started to realize that I'm not living my true life. Whenever I go out from home, I have to pretend that I am just a friend with my partner. I cannot hold his hand. I cannot give him a kiss. I, I cannot even look at him that way. Not because like people would kill me, just I'm really sensitive about people giving me the looks and they could even like call you names or something on the street and I am not comfortable with that. And I always thought that, that this is okay, that's the way it goes in this country and we can not, not do anything about that. But then I met this other guy in April and he showed me that yes. You can do something about that and it's just not giving any shit. It's inside you. If someone calls you names, it's nothing to do with you. It's, it's their problem. It's not your problem. You just have to ignore or ask him what his problem is. So he showed me that you can fucking live your true yourself wherever you are and I felt in love with him because of that and I told him and he told me that he doesn't feel the same and I was like yeah okay shit happens so uh, and yeah I, he also knew that I had an open relationship and it was not comfortable with that and I'm like yeah I, I understand I don't even know what I want I'm just so fascinated about you and everything you do because he was also a um, activist that time. He was fighting for basic human rights. He was fighting for gay rights. Like he was fighting for women. And I'm like, oh my God, like really, do you exist? <laughs> um, and I told him that I wanna help you because I think you are such an important person in this country. I literally, you just opened my eyes that Yes, we can do something about this situation. I was really happy to do a really tiny thing just to change this situation. And I was admiring him, like he was such an important person. I told him that, okay, I'm gonna go to Chile. And when I go back to Hungary, we can like probably continue what we started or just be friends or whatever. I, I know that you don't feel the same. I'm just like, I want to help on your journey. He was probably not thinking about me like at all, but I don't care. It's, it's, it's just me. I had him inside me and I'm like, you are something that I need. This country needs, the whole world needs you. Like, I want to help you. And I was in Chile here during the boot camp. And I opened up my laptop one of the mornings and because he was an activist, like it was on the news that he ended his life on 7th of November, I guess. And Well, I, I cried for two weeks. I'm not going to do that now. It was just destroying me. And I know that I just spent like a month or two with him just to get to know him a tiny bit. I realized while he taught me that you can be happy anywhere. Doesn't matter 
what your environment is. Do you really want to give a fuck about the stranger on the street, what he's telling you? Do you really want to hold yourself back because of a stranger on the street? Do you really want to be closed when you're enjoying a sunset because someone is like there who you don't know? Do you really don't want to enjoy a fucking sunset with your partner because there is someone near you guys and does it does that worth it? No? No it's not. And why why did I need this guy to like tell me this? This is so obvious. And this is why I'm so angry about a lot of people who are like living a close life, especially in Hungary. Like, they are just afraid of people around them. I kind of understand that, but it's just not worth it. No. And I'm not saying that I want to hold my partner's hand on the street or I want to like kiss him or something. I'm just saying that I want the possibility of that, and probably I'm not gonna do that, but I just want to live a life where I can just be myself and like a straight person, like that's all. I, I'm, not, I'm not asking anything. I'm not asking people around me anymore to accept me. No, you don't need to accept me. I need to change myself to not give a fuck ab about that situation anymore. So that's what he taught me and I'm gonna remember him like that because this is such an important lesson and two days ago I guess there was a transgender girl, um, Lila who committed suicide as well because her parents didn't accept her she was 17 years old and ended her life because her parents were religious they took her to therapies but not real therapies they took her to religious therapies where people try to change her and say you're a boy God doesn't make mistakes blah 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 right and she just couldn't take it just making me think like people 2014 now it's almost 15 the fuck I mean like can we end this shit I just, <laughs> can we just accept each other who we are, like being gay, being transgender, being whatever the fuck you are, it's not a big deal. It's who you are, come on. And I know it's religion and it's like something else I don't get. Like God wants you to be boy or I don't know, but like this world is not okay yet. I don't know how I can help to change it. Maybe with this video I can send a message. <laughs> My message should be that fixing the society is a really big thing and I don't know how it can like be done. But what I guess it just has to start from people like me or or this girl who ended her life we just need to know that being who we are is just okay and there will be always people who will hate us who will tell that no you cannot be you because of this reason and that reason and blah 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 and i'm like this is my life, I'm happy, 
and that's the way I am. And if you have problem with that, that's your problem, not my problem. So yeah, this was my year um, filled with heartbreaks and life-changing decisions and financial issues, company issues, lots of stupid stuff. Obviously, I had a lot of fun too. Um, I met a lot of awesome people and I'm not saying that it was miserable, but this year was oh, like really so compressed, like so many things happened. I'm just like blowing up. So I'm sorry, I made this video just to let these things go. Um, just take out these things from my chest. Um, because I feel like it's just like overwhelming and I'm like um, blowing up <laughs> and I yeah I just wanted to share you uh, this message that I learned from this amazing person this year and well happy new year it's almost midnight don't worry, I'm gonna have fun later. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's okay, I'm alone, I know. It's miserable, but no, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm gonna go out um, after the fireworks. Um, yeah, so Happy New Year. And see you next year in like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to mention this too, because this is another thing it's like on my chest after I came to Chile I met another guy obviously and he was so nice and everything and I felt in love again yay so new um, and it was the same fucking situation like me falling in love and then telling someone that, hey, I love you. What are you gonna do about that? Obviously the answer is, whoa, I don't want the responsibility. So it just ended again and my heart was broken again. And I'm like, really, did I need to learn something about that? Like not telling people how I really feel or like, hold myself back or like I don't know like yeah. can you tell me like what what's the problem like I, I'm I'm telling people I love them and they're just like running away <laughs> uh, anyway this is like the first time I am single and I guess this is a lesson for me, like, I need to know how to be single too, and right now I have to focus on myself and get my shit together and figure out how to be happy on my own, because that's really important. If you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't expect anyone else to make you happy if you're not happy by yourself i think i'm on a really good um, track on this i'm still in progress i still have issues i'm not gonna lie i have problems and i probably need help but i'm not the typical hungarian who is like whining and complaining and don't do anything about that I know that I can manage this I'm happy here I'm I made a, a good decision staying in Chile and I'm gonna launch a startup I'm gonna get my company shit together 
I'm gonna improve communication with my clients. No, we have 10 more minutes. Right. I need to go to see the fireworks. Anyway. Um, so I have lots of plans for next year and I'm really excited about that and you don't have to be sad for me or anything because I made this video how awful my year was. Yes, it was awful. Like, the whole thing. But it's okay, we're human, we are like, I failed. This year was awful and not, not just because of people around me or the environment. I failed. I I was the one who fucked up. I was the one who couldn't manage my company good, uh, well or interact with people or just I had I probably had to be more patient with with uh, people who I loved. It's okay. I I failed. But I have another year in 10 minutes and I'm looking forward to get my shit together and it's really exciting and I'm gonna go now, see the fireworks, go out, probably partying, I don't know what's gonna happen and just wake up tomorrow and start my new life here. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I'm really excited and I'm not afraid anymore of like the financial uncertainty uh, and I'm not desperate anymore about having someone who loves me because you cannot force it, this just happens. And all these guys I met and all these guys I fell in love with, I I still love them. It's not like I, I was making a mistake. It, it's okay. I, I have lots of love inside me. And and I'm the lesson is not holding it back. It's just keeping it real, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I have five minutes. Um, actually, um, this is one of the world's biggest fireworks um, because they are like shooting from four cities across the ocean. And this is like, a, I don't know, like there are beaches and they say it's really nice. So I need to go and see that. I just wanted to let this there as well. So happy new year again. Um, I'm happy, like really. I'm happy. I'm not okay, but I will be okay. I know how to do that. I will do that. And I suggest you to believe yourself. I know it's a little creepy or cheesy, or, but no, this is like, just be honest with yourself. If you had a fucking awful year, just say it. It's okay. You failed. You have another year and another one and another one. It's okay. We're, we're people. We're fucking up things. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I need to go.